Um, how do you think he feels about Brock Purdy? How do you really think he feels about Brock Purdy? Oh, that's a really good question, frankly. Yeah. And like knowing Kyle the way I think I do, knowing what we learned about how he felt about Jimmy, knowing what he said about Brock Purdy after they drafted him. Um, I believe it was Matt Mayoko who said, like, after – no, I mean, I think it was on the record. After, after they took Purdy, someone was like, well, what do you see there? Like, what's the comparison? And, and Shanahan said, Nick Mullins. They were looking to replace Nick Mullins. And, right. and they had him as third in the depth chart. I don't think Kyle looks at him that much differently because of the results on the field. We know how Kyle is. If an offense is clicking and a quarterback is out there, he's not going to give the quarterback any credit. He's going to be like, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. It's because of me and the weapons out there. So Purdy went out there and killed it. I could see John Lynch being excited. He was excited about Jimmy. But Kyle never was excited about Jimmy. So I could see Kyle privately being like, you know what? Brock was clutch, but I don't even know that he's better than Jimmy. He's cheaper than Jimmy. Yeah, it's for sure cheaper than Jimmy. But is he better than Jimmy? Like, I don't know. So I could see Kyle being like way less enthusiastic about Brock than people would think. Yeah, I mean, Kyle was as surprised as all of us were by Brock Purdy. And you know right. that because he reached out to – who was it? Who was the quarterback he reached out to try to sign? It was a uh, – Roethlisberger. Roethlisberger, right? When when Jimmy went down, even after that, that first week for Brock, the 49ers reached out to Ben Roethlisberger about coming to play football for the 49ers. So he was he didn't believe that Brock Purdy was going to come in and do – what he did. Uh, now, I think after watching him, uh, Brock pretty kind of forced his hand. But I, what I think of Kyle thinks of him is probably what I think of him, which is he's a good quarterback, especially for that price. Yeah, there and, it is. And you can win a lot of games with him. But I don't like if they had to pay him a 40, 50 million dollars right now. Yeah, Hell I don't know. I don't think they're doing that. So, oh, and it's like if you had Brock and Jimmy on the open market this year, who's going to get paid more money? Jimmy. Yeah. Because of the resume. Brock has played eight games. Even without the injury, I think you, people would look at Brock as like, okay, like, no, I, I tweeted this today. It, Brock is a great story. He's Mr. Irrelevant. Everyone's going crazy because it's like, oh my God, I've never seen the last pick in the draft do something like this. It's great. Um, if he would, if, if he were the third pick in the draft, though, if the Niners had traded up and taken him the way they took Lance, people would, wouldn't be that moved. They'd be like, okay, he had a nice start to his career, but he's on a good team. I mean, Jimmy did the same thing. Like, is he really better than Jimmy? He would have been in the Mac Jones conversation. You know what I mean? They mm -hmm. traded up. Niner fans did not want Mac Jones. They would have flipped out if they had taken Mac Jones. Like, Brock, they would have preferred Mac Jones to Brock Purdy at three. Yeah, and, and Mac Jones could have had early success and Niner fans still would have been like, okay, but it's just like with Jimmy and it's not going to go anywhere and he doesn't have an upside. Like That's what the conversation would be with Brock Purdy if he was taken the way Trey was taken, but he wasn't. So everyone's like, oh, you know what? It's such a great story. And maybe he can be a franchise quarterback too. Like, I don't know. Like, even if he's not, it's a great story. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just don't think Brock, he sold on Brock Purdy as a lot of this fan base is. Now, it doesn't mean he doesn't like the guy. Um, obviously he agreed with John Lynch that he's the leader of the clubhouse. And I think any real honest coach, like, you know, all you guys that follow me know that I, I want to see what Trey Lance can do. And I want him to play at some, at some point, but what you do on the field in a game matters. And if you're able to win all your games where you play the full game, then you can't really question that. He forced Kyle's hand. Kyle has no choice, but to, but to play him. But that doesn't necessarily mean that he's out on, Trey Lance. Right. Or you know Kyle either. hates being in that position where his hand is forced. He'll always going to wiggle out of it some way. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, that's one of my... His hand was forced with Jimmy, and look what happened. So, his hand is forced right now with Brock. He's not going to complain about it, but as soon as that, you know, goes downhill or stops delivering the way it was last year, he'll pivot. He always does. There's one thing we know about Kyle Shannon. He wants to be right. And to me, that's one of the main factors when I consider this quarterback situation. If Trey Lance is a good quarterback, then Kyle Shanahan's right. And I think Kyle Shanahan wants that to happen. Mm -hmm. um, let me hit this super chat real quick. Mui, again, thank you, buddy, says the praise Trey Lance is getting is patent and notable. Notable. Have to think the team believes he has a real chance to start at some point and see something. 
What do you think? I think, the uh, team, I think the team, but I think there's some players like Debo posted Trey Lance today. And by the way, Debo looks slim. Did you see that video I posted on? You good for on, Debo? That's the expectation. Yeah. I love to love to see it. you love to see <laughs> yeah. a professional athlete in shape. It's wonderful. Do what they're supposed um, to do. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think the Niners are pretty. I think Kyle is pretty um, self aware that his quarterbacks all play. He doesn't really put much emphasis on pass protection, like. They let Mike McGlinchey leave and didn't replace him. <laughs> They're like, we'll be good with his backup. That's pretty wild. Like, they uh, don't care. So, I think they figure Trey Lance will get his opportunity at some point. Like, Brock Purdy will get the first chance, but come on. I think everyone probably is like, eventually this is going to stop. Yeah. Except yeah. For maybe John Lynch. I don't know. Last question for you. Before. It feels like Lynn Sanity, doesn't it? It's a little bit like Lynn Sanity. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah. 